Hello class, this video is to catch you up in case you took a snow day today, Wednesday, February 5th. We're going to talk about supply versus quantity supplied. Last class we saw some supply curve shifters and we talked about how we get a change in quantity supplied and now I want to show you what that looks like on a graph. So first thing I want to do is label my axes. We are going to have P and Q. And then it says an increase in supply is a movement from S0 to S1. So first I want to just draw my S0. And then if supply increases, it's going to shift to the right. Just like demand shifted to the right, supply will shift to the right when it increases. So I'm going to label this S1. And S1 is an increase in supply compared to S0. Now a decrease in supply is moving from S0 to S2. So let me draw in an S2. That's going to be a shift to the left. And I will label that S2. All right. Now what you'll notice is that we could pick any price. I'm just going to pick this price right here. And at that price, we could come over to this curve and find at this point the quantity supplied off of this supply curve S2. I'm going to call it Q2. If we come over here and we find out the quantity supplied off of the curve S0, we can get this quantity here, which is Q0. And if we take the same price over to the curve S1, then we get, come down here, Q1. So no matter what price I picked, there's always going to be a lower quantity supplied off of S2 than there is off of S0 and S1 is always going to be the biggest. So you can see for yourself, if you imagine moving this price up, the quantities would all move to the right, but they'd remain in this order. If you move the price down, the quantities would move to the left, but they would stay in this same order. All right, now quantity supplied only changes when the price of that good changes. So it's like moving to a new row on our supply schedule. So think about the difference between the number of students willing to sing karaoke for $10,000 versus the number who would sing it for $5. So let's take a look at what that looks like. The first thing I want to do now is label my axes, P and Q. And then I'm going to draw a supply curve. Just label it S. And it says an increase in quantity supplied is movement along the supply curve from point A, let's call this A, to point B. All right, and I'm going to put B right here. Now the quantity associated with point A is this QA right here, and the quantity associated with B is this QB right here. So you can see that this is zero, and the quantity is increasing as we move to the right. So QA is less than QB. So when we go from point A to point B along the supply curve here, we're going from QA to QB down here. Now, of course, a decrease in quantity supply is when we go from B to A. So if we go from B down this curve to A, we're going from this QB down to QA.